This is Lexographer Josephicus Aurelius, recording for Inquisitor Cerberus Fellstorm of the Auto Hereticus, M999, time distortion factor 4. The most common creatures the Trinitai fleets field into battle appear to be the Tamagans. These Xenos creatures are described in most sources as fast and highly maneuverable. Their character is described as cunning and malicious. According to battle reports, they are capable of simple tactics like laying ambushes and outflanking maneuvers, even if no synaptic creature is present to command them. Colonel Crudders claims that they were originally created to guard the interior of the hive ships, a knowledge that can only stem from the multiple boarding actions against Hive Fleet Kraken. And it begs the question, if or in which extent High Fleet Behemoths even use Termagants as frontline soldiers. A trait they seem to have lost is the constant secretion of their bodies, which might be because it is not necessary in our universe or it is tied to their tasks inside the Hive ships. Lawmaster Chambers also describes in great length how mutable these creatures are. The genome is most probably the root for other creatures I will describe later. As it seems, minor physical modifications to adjust to the enemy are disregarded in favor for a broader weapons range. While reports over the centuries vary what the preferred weapon of this creature is, right now the hive might make full use of its known arsenal. The already known flesh borer, spine fist, spike rival, devourer and strangle web are in use as a new weapon named the shard launcher. The main tactic to flood the enemy with tamagans to deplete them of the resources remains unchanged. As a final note, I have to say that despite their relative small size, these creatures should not be underestimated. <laughs> 